god, I'm struggling to film and I just was dealing with my ring light not wanting to turn on for like 15 minutes, even after I plugged it in and everything. I have to take some ibuprofen. It is almost 10.30 at night. This is the latest I have ever filmed myself doing my makeup, but tomorrow is Halloween and I have a dentist appointment and I know for sure I'm getting one tooth pulled and I don't know what they're going to do about the other tooth. Um, and so I just want to, I want to have something Halloweeny to post while I take the day to recover from getting a tooth snatched out of my head. I gotta take some uh, ibuprofen first though. We gotta take some ibuprofen and then we gotta do this shit. Kids are in bed. Epps is on the clock for three more hours. I can do this. I can do this? Hold on, I need to set my water down before I spill it everywhere. If I did, if I did spill my water everywhere while, while trying to take some fucking ibuprofen, I would just give up. I would just give up and walk away. All right, I think because I don't need this to last a particularly long time. That was such a big word for me. I think I'm just going to use some e.l.f. putty primer in like my T-zone instead of spraying my whole damn face. Because uh, I really only need this to last long enough for me to film this video and maybe like get a couple selfies. Guys, <laughs> tomorrow is Halloween. Uh, it actually starts in, 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 you know, technically at midnight if you want to be technical about it. So in one and a half hours is Halloween. It's my wedding anniversary. There's a new Sims 4 pack coming out. Um... There's all kinds of like tattoo specials, like $31 Halloween tattoo specials happening all over the place. And I can't participate in any of it because I have to go get a fucking tooth ripped out of my head. My tooth's been hurting me for like a month. No exaggeration, it has been a very long time to the point that it's like dangerous. And I feel like it's because every time that I almost did an emergency walk-in, it would like stop hurting. Like it didn't wanna, it didn't wanna come out of my face. It was like, no, no, how about no? Let's just, let's just, let's act like everything's going to be fine. No. And then the one time that I got in my vehicle, by the way, I'm using Sunset Makeup Flat White Foundation. The one time that I got in my vehicle to drive to the dentist's office at just before seven o'clock in the morning, my Jeep ended up breaking down. Um, and then like two days later, I had a tooth in the back of my head that had a filling fall out. Filling, feeling, filling. Filling and feeling are not the same thing, right? So anyways, I had a tooth that had a, a filling fall out. <laughs> like a year or so ago. Um, literally just snap off in the back of my head and I had somebody leave me a comment that was like what if that was the universe telling me like something else is going to happen that you're going to be need to need to be seen for so let's let's pump the brake on brakes uh, brakes on this on you and on you going to the dentist guys I'm losing track of my thoughts I'm losing track of my thoughts because let me tell you something that happened and it fucking sucked. I have massive car anxiety. I'm terrified of driving because I'm terrified of things like that happening because they have and they never happen when my husband's driving only when I'm driving. It hasn't happened again. My dashboard lit up like a Christmas tree. My dashboard lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. Um, every light was on and I had to sputter into a Qdoba parking lot. Think Chipotle. That's what Qdoba is. Um, I had to sputter into a fucking Qdoba parking lot um, and call a 9 million people at just before 7 a.m. <laughs> and finally got a hold of my baby dad who was just leaving his night shift at his job and was going to be driving by and he came and got me. So that sucks. And that was a long time ago. I, I don't know how long ago, like maybe a week and a half ago. The soonest that they could get me in was tomorrow. So that's how I'm going to be spending my Halloween slash anniversary in the doctor's office getting a tooth ripped out and potentially another one. I'm going to be using the matching setting powder for that stuff. It's the sunset makeup, just the flat white setting powder. But anyways, Epps couldn't get the day off of work. Um, and I have a dentist appointment and it sucks because it is going to be our four year wedding anniversary. And usually what we end up doing is getting all dressed up 
and taking fun pictures and going uh, trick-or-treating and that can't be a thing. Like we went trick-or-treating a couple of days ago um, around our neighborhood, but like the surrounding neighborhoods are doing trick-or-treating tomorrow. My kids didn't, they didn't get as into it as they usually do. We only trick-or-treat, they would last for like an hour and a half. We were only out for maybe 35, 45 minutes before they were like, okay, all right, I got enough candy. We can go home. And honestly, barely anybody was giving out candy, but it's funny because I saw on Facebook like a bunch of people that live in my neighborhood being like, where were the trick-or-treaters this year? I didn't see you. To be fair, we didn't walk that far either. I'm just realizing that I have no idea where any eyelashes are. I had an, an entire idea in my head and then as I was coming closer to the realization that I was actually going to sit down and film, I like changed my mind. So now I have a different idea, which means I'm not going to be able to do it because every time that I stayed out loud, I, I have an idea guys. Every time I state that out loud, I, it doesn't happen. I don't know what kind of brows I want to do. The more that I look at them, the more I'm just tempted to shave them off. I need to learn how to like glue my brows down. Like I cannot believe as somebody that like spent a long time, like my twenties on YouTube, like learning makeup from drag queens. I don't know how I don't know how to like glue my brows down, which seems a little less destructive than just shaving the bitches off. But like only have like 12 brow, hair, brow hairs and they tend to grow back pretty fucking fast. This is them in their full glory, except that I, I shaved the like two little stray hairs on the ends off. <laughs> I kind of want to Google, like, I, what if I just went boop, boop? It's kind of dangerous because it's like really easy to fuck up. God, don't let my headache stop me from taking pictures for Instagram. If I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do this late at night with a headache and like low motivation, I better fucking get a good selfie out of it. I swear to God. I'm gonna use my Shmame Schmarls palette. I'm gonna use my Shmame Schmarls palette and I'm just gonna smear red everywhere i can't i look forward to going to the dentist tomorrow with a red stained face <laughs> i look forward to going to the dentist tomorrow with a red stained face because red shit always dies my skin it always dies my skin usually i wet my brush for this i'm not going to oh my god i was just gonna dive right in i'm gonna go clear up to my brow i'm gonna go clear the hell up to my brow and in my head i think oh that will help disguise my eyebrow my real eyebrow no i think it just kind of like enhances it a little bit i think it just kind of makes it a little more prominent we're kind of giving like like uh ursula vibes we're kind of get we're giving like who hold on a second i was gonna say pink flamingos divine yeah that's what it is
Sorry, there was a bunch of noise happening outside of my house that I did not care to deal with. So I just put on some music and decided to do my eyeliner. I was trying to figure out why my eyeliner was going on oily as shit and not wanting to sit right, especially in the corners of my eyes. I forgot primer. I forgot primer. By the way, I used e.l.f. This shit. I forgot primer. <laughs> And I didn't want the corners as big, though I'm not mad about it. I fucked this one up and had to do the make it a little bigger, make it a little bigger, make it a little bigger until it slightly matched thing. I also wanted my wings bigger. I feel like I'm pushing. Does it really matter at this point? No, but kind of. I'm going to be using e.l.f. Not e.l.f. Oh my god. Wet and wild breakup proof under my eyes. I need my ibuprofen to kick it. I'm kind of in a panic a little bit because I literally don't know what I'm going to do about eyelashes. I don't know where I took the last pair that I had on yesterday off at. I probably should have thought of that before I sat my ass down. I got to put a little something something on the bottom. Like black on the bottom. I just think it looks better. I just think it looks better. Also, I have mascara all over my hands because I found one really big pair of um, eyelashes. Uh, this is a Profusion Moonstone palette. I found one really big pair of eyelashes, um, which I'm fine with, because um, I like really big eyelashes, but they're like very big, um, but I'm fine with that. One of them was like kind of, how do I describe it? Chunky? <laughs> A little chunky and uh the other one wasn't so i just ran a bunch of like a shit ton of mascara through them hoping that they'll kind of be the same they'll kind of look the same they'll kind of match each other's nasty chunky oily energy uh i need to put some glitter on too in my vision and this looks nothing like my vision <laughs> in my vision that we knew would not happen this had glitter i have to wait for the like, caked on mascara to dry too. I'm kind of hoping putting on um, glitter up here will kind of help disguise my eyebrow a little bit. No. No. How comes I, when I want to have eyebrows, I can't have eyebrows and when I wish they would disappear into the fucking abyss, they won't go away. Hmm? What if I sat down and watched a tutorial one day on how to glue my fucking eyebrows down because I honestly think it would be worth the effort to learn because situations like this pop up more than I would expect them to. Get that? It's nothing like what I want. I was gonna say, what if I just put glitter everywhere, but that's not really what I wanted to do. I did want to put some on the bottom. That's a lot more than I wanted to put on the bottom, but at this point, Fuck it. I didn't want to take it all the way down on the red like I normally would, but why not? Why not? I feel like I'm just making my, I feel like I'm just making my eyebrows more prominent is all that I'm doing. I feel like I'm just making my eyebrows sting out more. I don't feel like this is enough. I'm trying to remind myself like I don't have on my mascara or not my, well yeah i don't have that on yet but i also don't have on like my eyelashes and all that shit you know what i don't think i'm going to be able to use these eyelashes they are soaked in mascara and by the way i think they're ruined they like this shit is not gonna dry down this shit is not gonna dry down um by the way what the fuck was i talking about I literally cannot remember what I was going to say. I have to go on a hunt for some eyelashes. I remembered what I was going to say. I remembered what I was going to say. I thought that mascara was dried out. You fucking tell me why that much came out whenever I was trying to do that. It soaked them. Oh, by the way, I found some eyelashes like on my nightstand. Do they match? I think. I don't know. Am I going to wear them anyway? Yeah. Damn, I got excited because I thought Queso wasn't streaming tonight. And he is. My app just needed updated. My app just need, it made me feel better about the fact that I'm doing this so late at night. My app just needed updated. That's all that it was. 
Okay, he's still going through his Discord stuff. That makes me feel better. I usually skip that part anyway. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. My wings, I hate how they went down without primer. I hate how they went down without primer. I feel like I need to go back over them, but I honestly don't think that it's gonna make that big of a difference. I hate how they went down without primer. Don't skip primer. If you think that it doesn't make a difference, it absolutely does. I literally, it's been a half hour. It has been a half hour of me sitting here talking to a camera and it is already, my shit's already chipping away. And usually it lasts me all day, all day. So if you think that primers don't work, they do. There's a lot of debate on whether or not they actually work for shit like foundation. As somebody that's worked in a kitchen, I can tell you that they do. Oh, absolutely. Like if I would get to work and realize that I forgot primer in my step, like doing my makeup that morning, I knew that my shit was not gonna last all day. I knew it. Like even if it was like a three or four hour shift, I knew that shit was not staying down. I hope my eyelash is like way too far back. Like too, you know what I mean? I feel like I need to do something with my eyeshadow. I feel the too much jean rising up from the fucking abyss. Like the Kraken. I, that's what I'm feeling right now. I feel like I need to do something, but I also feel like I'm in danger of fucking my makeup up. I can't really hurt it any more than I already have by forgetting to put any primer on, right? Just kidding. I hate magenta, but I kind of wish I would have put some magenta in this. I kind of wish I would have put a little bit of magenta in this. Just a little bit. I don't know. All right, I don't know if this is going to work. And if it doesn't, that's fine. I'll just cry. I'll just cry. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do, but my body paint is downstairs. I think I'm just going to use this to do it. The slick flick. I remember what I wanted to do. That might be why I feel like I'm missing something. Yes. God, the skin under my under eyes just literally just literally fucking sucks i think i'm gonna mess with my eyebrows a little bit on camera they look like way thinner than they look like to my eyes does that make sense i feel like probably no did that do anything no it doesn't matter because listen we're gonna do something we're gonna try to we're gonna let our too much gene fly and it's gonna salvage this look right it's gonna be what saves this look it's gonna be the thing that makes it so that everything's okay i have body paint but it's downstairs where Epps was using it oh my god i can't breathe you ever get like a lot of pressure in your forehead when you're doing your makeup from your blood pressure raising because I sure as shit fucking do Okay, are they even? 
No. Are they as solid black as I want them to be? No. Could I try to fix it and completely fuck it up? Yeah. Do I feel the urge to do that? Yeah. I can't keep going, guys. I can't keep going. Oh, Epsa's gonna love this. When he gets off the clock, he's gonna love it. He loves when I do, like, extreme looks, and I wouldn't even call this that extreme. I would just call it cute. I'm kind of wondering if this would work how I'm hoping it will work. Like, I'm kind of wondering if this will do what I want it to do. Right here, we'll find out. And if you're thinking, why would it not? I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot of fears. I have a lot of fears about stupid shit. I love clowns. Listen, I love clowns. My love of clowns started when I was a little girl. I've never been afraid of them. I love clowns. But here's the thing. I have a lot of irrational fears, like young people. Like if I have to walk past a group of teenagers on the street, a group of teenagers is called a nope. It's called a nope. And not even just that, like little kids. Like I, you're, you're gonna be mean to me and I know it. And I'm gonna cry. And then we're both gonna look fucking stupid, right? Actually, you won't, but I will. Um, groups of kids scared the shit out of me driving which i don't feel is an irrational fear it scares me but i do it anyway um windows scare me but clowns don't i love them i have always loved them I have no idea how I pulled that off. That was Lime Crime, by the way. Lime Crime in Black Velvet. It's my current favorite. You think I should give myself a little nose? A little red nose? A little red nose? Because I kind of think that I should. I have a clown nose somewhere. I just can't wear it. It like It's a sensory thing. I just cannot do it. <gasps> Am I doing it? Am I doing an okay-ish job? Doing it? That's fine. I think I want to put glitter on it because of course I do. <gasps> Aww. Should I contour my face? Should I do any contouring at all? Because I kind of feel like I want to. Don't look at the side of my head. I also don't look at head. Uh, I got white foundation in my hair. What if I also gently used the giant black in this Shmaim Shmarls palette to kind of fuzzies? If you get on my fucking skin, I'll have a meltdown. To just to also gently give myself a little bit of gray contour. Why didn't I think of that before? Why didn't I think of that before? Because it's got like a really big, like one of the biggest pans in this thing is black. Why didn't I think of that before? Because this palette is torn all to shit and I usually don't ever use it unless I plan to tear it all to shit. Probably. Oh my god, it's working. It's working. I'm doing it. You know what else I'm doing? You know what else I'm doing? Having fucking hot flashes like crazy. You know what I have stuck in my head and I'll never be ashamed of it? Sexy red. Sexy red saying, shank that ass, how? <laughs> I, listen, I don't have to say these things out loud, but I do. One time I, I kept saying that I had it stuck in my head. I was like, you know, when uh, Sexy Red says, it ain't my fault. And Epps was like, no. So I made him listen to it and he fucking screamed. And he was like, oh my God, that's exactly how she sounds. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that my wig is going to cover up my cute little whatevers, my cute little triangle horn things, but I feel like it's necessary. I feel like it's necessary for the- I'm having like the worst fucking hot flip. What did we learn today on Shay's shit show? We learned that sometimes when you let your too much gene take the wheel, things turn out all right. Uh, most of the time they don't, but we have to cling to the times that it does and tell ourselves that every single time it's gonna turn out that way. Um, so we do stupid things. 
in hopes to get a win. And most of the time we won't get a win, but we'll still trying for we'll, we'll still keep trying for one. Right? Anyways, I hope you enjoy this this Halloween look that I'm not even going to get to wear on Halloween because I have to go take it off because I have to go get a tooth rim down on my head on Halloween. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. And by the way, after this, I am posting a Sims video because I'm definitely not going to be able to film tomorrow to like at least not enough footage for an entire vlog or anything. So that is my way of saying mental health break, physical health break. Have a Sims video. Anyways, happy Halloween and all that shit.